Today we're gonna to be making some jalapeno cream corn and Chris and I went on a little trip last weekend and we went to a place called uh, Heart 8 barbecue and they had this and it was so so wonderful that I'm gonna recreate it and so I'm gonna start with a stick a half a stick of butter and uh, get, get it in my skillet and let it start um, melting I'm also making another dish over here some brussels sprouts so we'll put the other half of the stick in that one anyway we are going to um use the corn out of our garden and i have a quart size uh, dill of corn here and uh, this is our last bag i'm so sad but we are going to plant some more but anyway if you do not have fresh corn like this you can use um frozen or you can go buy your own and husk it like we did and I'll put in the uh, comment section how we husk our corn. If you don't know how to husk corn like this, you are missing out. This is our favorite way to husk corn using a bump pan. Put it through that hole and you can watch us do it. You can do a whole deal of corn in just a matter of seconds. And so while that is melting, I am going to dice up a small onion. And I want my onion to be really small okay so we're gonna dice that up and you don't have to uh, cook this really long just really long enough to get the the onion done okay so your onion won't be all crunchy but we're gonna dice this up really small we're also gonna use some uh, Philadelphia cream cheese and some garlic and the kind of peppers I, I, I got the diced ones you can dice up your own or if you have sliced in your refrigerator that's fine too so um, just use whatever you have and you maybe could even use fresh you would just have to cook it a little longer so so get these really small but you don't want big old hunks of onion in this all right and then we're going to cook our onion for about, oh, maybe a minute. Not, not real long. We're going to cook it in our butter. Okay. This is so, so good. I love this corn. And the kind of corn that we grew right here is sweet. It's uh, called candy corn. It's a really sweet corn. So... All right, I've got my onion diced really small. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my skillet. And I'm gonna let that go for about a minute. And then we're gonna add our corn in. I'll be right back when I add the corn in. Uh, getting translucent. I'm going to cube up a half of a block of Philadelphia cream cheese. And it's easier if you do it kind of in little, little squares. It melts a little faster. And if I would have thought I would have left this out, we just actually got back in church. So if I would have thought I would have left this out so it would be, you know, softened, but it'll be okay. So cube this up and then I'll throw it in that butter it'll start melting we'll let that go for a little while just a couple of seconds or a little little bit all right I'm gonna bring y'all over here so y'all can see better okay so now I've got my stuff got you moved up here so you can see and I've got this stuff melting I'm gonna go ahead and add my corn because I don't want those onions to just brown it gives it a different flavor so there is our beautiful corn in our last bag I think I don't know how many ba bags we got I think we got about 20 something bags okay so we've got onion garlic um, 
our cheese in there. And then we are going to add some, no, we don't have garlic in there yet, do we? I'm trying to hurry too fast because I know he's out there cooking steaks. I'm going to use some garlic in here. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of garlic. I'm going to put some in my Brussels sprouts too. And then we're going to put, it kind of depends on how many peppers you want. We like spicy stuff. So I'm probably going to put about three tablespoons in mine, but you may only want one. Just kind of eyeball it how you, how you want it. We kind of like, I actually think I'll do four. We do like a little kick to our stuff. And of course your salt and your pepper. If it seems like it's getting too dry, put a little bit of heavy whipping cream or something in there. I think we're probably gonna be just perfect. So salt, excuse me while I do another dish. <laughs> and pepper. Yum. Okay, we're just gonna let this, uh, the cheese is pretty much melted. We're just gonna kinda let this simmer and cook down probably for about maybe 10 minutes, okay? Just, you want to stir it every once in a while because corn is a starch and it sometimes will scorch. So using my nanny skillet. This was my nanny skillet. She got this skillet for a wedding present. When she got married and that was back in 52, I believe. So she's gone now, her and Poppy are in heaven. But anyway, okay, so let me let you get a close look at this. Okay, so this is cooking and we're gonna let it cook down for about, like I said, about 10 minutes. And uh, then we'll try it. Okay, this has been cooking for about 10 minutes and this is looking wonderful. So the last step we're gonna do is, like, don't measure, I just actually just get like a handful of cheese. I would say that's probably about three-fourths of a cup, okay? And it's just mild cheddar. We're going to stick that in there and just stir it around, and then it's ready. Stir it around till it's melted. And then it's ready. And it looks wonderful. Okay, let me let you get a close look at this, and we're going to let it cool down and taste it. Well, that, we're going to turn that down. I'm going to put a handful of pecans in those Brussels sprouts, and I think my sides will be ready. Those, those steaks he's cooking out there will be ready in just a moment, too. Okay, so let's get a good look at this. So, don't that look good? Yum, yum, yum. Yes, can't wait to try it. I know it's gonna be wonderful. Okay, we're gonna be making our plates now. He's got the steaks done. Take a bite of that corn. Tell me how what you think about it. It's good. It's got a little kick to it. I think it's better than what we had over there. Good. So, okay, we're going to have our steak. Let me go ahead and make my plate. Caleb, you want to make yours? And then we're going to have our Sunday lunch, and then we're going to have a nap. So, oh, this looks yum, too. Look at that steak. Mm. Here, I'll try this. Oh, I've never cooked meal before. Yeah, we got, we got a good deal on Try something new. Mm -mm. All right, that's Sunday lunch. <laughs> yeah. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Keep looking to the east. It's so good we're getting seconds on the corn. Yep. <laughs> Cheating. Yeah, this is cheat day. Haven't had corn like this in forever. Oh. 
but since last weekend, but we don't we have to tell y'all all that. But yeah, it's wonderful. still good. Another helping.